Welcome to the Epic World of Dog Training. I am JT Lawson. I am the lead trainer at Make Your Dog Epic. I also own the Oklahoma locations for Make Your Dog Epic, where we turn your canine companions into truly epic dogs. Get ready for your daily doses of wisdom as we tackle your questions and unleash the secrets to mastering dog training. As always, our goal is to gain obedience, but never at the expense of the dog's personality. Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you. Oh, good job. Have a kiss. What? Oh, let's try again. Oh, what? One more? No? Okay. Some shows don't need a celebrity narrator to introduce the show, but this show does. In a world filled with endless opportunities, why would two men who have built 13 multi-million dollar businesses altruistically invest five hours per day? to teach you the best practice business systems and moves that you can use. Because they believe in you. And they have a lot of time on their hands. They started from the bottom, now they're here. It's the Thrive Time Show starring the former U.S. Small Business Administration's Entrepreneur of the Year, Clay Clark, and the entrepreneur trapped inside an optometrist body, Dr. Robert Zutner. Two men. Eight kids, co-created by two different women. Thirteen multi-million dollar businesses. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, and now we're at the top. Teaching you the systems to get what we got. Colton Dixon's on the hooks. I break down the books. Seeds bringing some wisdom and the good roots. As the father of five. That's why I'm alive, so if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's the CNC up on your radio, and now three, two, one, here we go! We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get Thrive Nation, on today's show, we're joined by uh, J.T. Lawson, the lead trainer uh, from a company called MakeYourDogEpic.com, MakeYourDogEpic.com, and uh, uh, he's hopped up on enough DayQuil to kill a small goat, so we have no idea what he's going to say on today's show. Uh, J.T., I'm excited to be here. Are you aware that you're here? Yes, I, I am aware I'm here. Sorry if I've tried not to sniffle in the microphone. No problem, no problem. So here, here's what I want to focus on on today's show. Uh, it's going to be a quick show, but an important show, and I want to make sure everybody out there uh, takes some notes. So again, if you're listening to this show, we assume that you're familiar with the brand uh, MakeYourDogEpic.com. It's a dog training brand, but I, I assume that you're listening out there and you're probably not a dog trainer. So I'm going to teach you something on today's show. We're going to teach you on today's show something that's so important, and it's called Always Set an Appointment, ASA. I'm constantly hammering this idea within my world, within the world of sales, anytime I'm teaching salespeople, because if you don't set an appointment for anything in your life that doesn't get scheduled, it won't get done. What gets scheduled gets done. What doesn't get scheduled gets doesn't get done. So let's talk about the dog business, okay? So people go to MakeYourDogEpic.com. They go to MakeYourDogEpic.com because they are looking for Tulsa's highest rated and most reviewed dog trainer. They're looking for Oklahoma City's highest rated and most reviewed dog trainer, et cetera. They go to the website. And, JT, you have a, a, a – sometimes you have a waiting list. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes, sometimes you do. But, I mean, you're if somebody reaches out, they want you to train their first dog, the first lesson is only 50 cents. So you when you pick up the phone, you guys are scheduling that person for an appointment right then. Why Why do you – when someone calls you guys, when they, when they, when they go to MakeYourDogEpic.com because they're looking for a Tulsa dog trainer, they fill out the form, why do you schedule an appointment right there for that first lesson? Because they have an urgent need to get their dog trained. So they, something happened that made them reach out to want dog training. So either their dog chewed up a shoebox with uh, $2,000 in it, true story, or a dog ripped down the mini blinds, true story, or the dog scaled the fence and tackled the neighbor's little white dog. That was my dog before I trained him. Or the dog knocked over the uh, grandma. Uh, that was my dog before I trained him. Um, or there's something that happened that made them 
have the urgent need to fill out that form, and we want to get them in as soon as possible because if we don't, somebody else will. And I just got off the phone with a wonderful client today. I won't mention his business, but a uh, wonderful longtime client. And he was telling me, he says, Clay, um, I can't do more than about $600,000 a week of sales. And I said, well, well why not? He says, because I'm, I'm, I'm booked out. I'm booked out. You know, and I said, well, why can't you do more? This guy does big projects. He says, I just, I'm so booked out, I, I can't do any more jobs. I said, well, if, if it were my business, what I would do is I'd answer the phone. I'd have your front desk person answer the phone. And I would go ahead and book the appointment right away for this particular business, okay? Because this is a business where people typically book the job out six months in advance, a year out in advance. I mean, this is big, you know, big construction stuff. And yeah. I would never turn away the the appointment you always want to set an appointment and then once you set an appointment you get the deposit and you tell someone hey we'll get started in august we'll get started in september we'll get started and whatever but you're at a spot right now at make your dog epic where as the leads are coming in as more and more people are reaching out to you as you continue to to become more and more relevant in the minds of people in oklahoma um you're at a spot now when, when, you're, when you're sitting down with a customer you have to tell them after that first lesson that's 50 cents you have to tell them hey do you if you want to move forward today we have this package that package or this package and if you move forward today we can get you on the books great and if uh, not then uh, we'll basically add you to a waiting list and maybe we'll have something available in a couple months why, why are why do you think people are so excited to schedule the first lesson with make your dog epic for 450 cents well they're so excited because once they schedule that we come out and we see their dog and then we're going to go go through with them what it'll take to get their dog to their goals which a lot of trainers they don't do that first lesson so they just have uh, somebody call in and they're like, yep, it'll be three weeks for $4,000. So that's something that we do that's different. Um, also, we offer a money-back guarantee on all of our training services. So we will always blame ourselves and never the customer if it doesn't work. So then they're like, oh, well, I mean, that makes sense. And then also we will beat any competitor's price. So because of those two things um, and the fact that we have private lessons or doggy boarding school, and no matter what, they get group class forever, I mean, those are three things that make them want to wait until we're off the wait list. So on today's show, again, I want to make sure I'm teaching three big principles. One, you always set an appointment. Two, you have to have a massive no-brainer. And three, what gets scheduled gets done. So let's talk about the no-brainer. If you go to MakeYourDogEpic.com, and if I miss in one of these, tell me. But your first lesson is 50 cents. That's a no-brainer in the mind of the customer. It's like, well, why would I not at least schedule, at least just for the sheer entertainment of watching a man work for an hour for 50 cents? That's great. You know what I mean? Right. Somebody yep. out there who's like, you know, I, I don't have a lot of good things going on in my life, but if I can pay a man for 50 cents to run around, that's cool. I mean, so it's, it's a great deal. Um, second is you will beat any competitor's price, which is mind boggling. Um, third, you have the fastest turnaround time. Uh, fourth, you have a money back guarantee. So you never blame the dog or the customer. Uh, five, if anybody books with you, they have a chance to win a trip to Hawaii. A uh, six, you've got scholarship options for families in need. I mean, there's at this point, there's almost no reason to not at least fill out the form at MakeYourDogEpic.com for Tulsa Dog Training. And, and I just believe everybody out there listening today, you've got to understand this idea. You've got to have a no-brainer. JT, why does everybody have to have a no-brainer? Well, because it, the, it's in the name. It's a no-brainer. So if you have an offer that people have to think about, well, then it's not a good offer. They need to be able to get in, and when they see it, they need to be like, oh, okay, done, I'm in. And that's how that's how the customer needs to view it, as they don't need to think about it, they just need to do it. It's just absolutely critical. Now, again, I'm, I'm hammering on these three principles. Hopefully, I'm communicating succinctly. Always set an appointment. So today, when we wrap up the podcast today, I'm going to call a young lady on our team who's doing some video work for us, and I'm going to call her, and I'm going to say, hey, could you come in at this time to edit this video or these videos? And if she says, it's a management tip, too. If she says, uh, no, or I'm busy, or uh, I have to get back with you, then I would counter with, okay, how about this time? And if she, would, if she were to say, well, I'm really busy right now, I would say, well, how about this time? But again, I'm always setting an appointment for contractors to install windows, uh, people that want to build a deck. JT, hypothetically, if I was hiring someone to install a deck on one of my properties, and they would be vague about when they're going to come and finish the deck, what does that mean? That means they have no idea when they're actually going to do it. Um, and it means that it's going to drift and it'll probably never get done. It's Drifting is so dangerous. Drift, In my opinion, drifting is the... I've seen this over time. Drifting is such a dangerous thing 
in the game of business and in the game of life. In fact, Napoleon Hill, the best-selling author who I named my son after, he wrote a book called Outwitting the Devil that's all about not drifting. You cannot allow drifting, so you have to always set an appointment. It's so important. Somebody out there is listening going, I don't understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is you want to set an appointment. Now, our listeners out there, you're listening right now, you're a very smart person, but there's some prop- there's someone probably in your car right now who says, I don't believe in setting appointments because things always change. Well, and that person is suffering from jackassery. You've got to, JT, if I'm going to write a book, I have to set a specific time to write the book. If I don't set a specific time in my schedule to write the book, what's going to happen? Um, it's never going to get done. I mean, the person in the car struggling is probably uh, what we like to call a circle backer. They like to circle back to things. Circle backer. And so they always, uh, they're like, hey, I'll get back to you. Or oh, they're yeah. the type of people to put something on your to-do list. So they're like, hey, will you remind me of this? Because they don't understand how the calendar works and they don't know how to set a schedule and to set an appointment. And so whether it's in business or life, you have to set that appointment. You cannot circle back because if you keep circling back on things, then now you have 18 things you're circling back on, and you just need to set a time to get it done or it will never get done. I had talked the other day to a, a client who has a web guy who works for him, and the web guy told me, well, I can't finish this because I'm waiting on GoDaddy to, res- to finish whatever they're doing. And I said, great, to the, to the, to the, to the client's web guy. What time will you call GoDaddy to follow up? And he says, what? And I said, what time will you <laughs> call them to follow up? And he says, oh, well, I'm just, I'm waiting on them. So the next week I called the guy, I said, hey, did you call GoDaddy to follow up? He said, no, I did not. I said, is the website migrated? Is it working? He says, I don't know. He logs on. Sure enough, GoDaddy's waiting on him. You got to schedule a time to follow. You got to schedule a time. What gets scheduled gets done. Hopefully, I'm communicating succinctly. That's power move number one. Power move number two about we're talking about how do you achieve massive success? Two, you've got to have a no brainer for your business. I don't care if you're an architect, you're a dentist, you're a lawyer, you've got to have a no brainer. I'm trying to give you ideas to stimulate the creative thinking here. But Dr. Robert Zellner, that's drzellner.com, D R Z O E L L N E R. Your first pair of glasses and your first exam is $99. That's how much it is. First pair, $99. Why would you not do that? And if it turns out, people will do it. Um, you know, uh, elephant in the room, our haircut chain. First haircut is a dollar. Why would you not do that? Turns out, people will do that. If you don't have a no-brainer in place, people simply won't take the action that you want them to take. It's so important. JT, if you don't have a no-brainer in place, if you don't have one, if you don't have a no-brainer in place, you're not ever going to generate enough leads. And it doesn't matter how great your product or service is, you, you, you're not going to do well if you don't have leads. Why? Again, somebody out there is stuck on this. Yep. Somebody, somebody out there... I don't know who it is, JT. I don't know. And on part two of today's show, we're going to share some testimonials today. So I don't know who it is, but there, I, I, I can't remember who it is, but there's somebody back in the day who once said, it doesn't matter how good you are if you aren't getting enough leads. Mm. You know? Yeah. And I'm, I remember a client telling me that. I can't remember the client's name. But they were saying to me, it doesn't matter how good you are if you're not getting enough leads. And I was thinking, that is so true. You know? And I think it's really important that we have that mindset. It, it doesn't matter... How good you are if you're not getting enough leads? You, you got to get those leads, JT. Yeah, well, I want to talk to somebody. Somebody here is fighting us still on the no-brainer, and it, they're saying, I don't want to cheapen my brand because they don't want to do the no-brainer. So they were like, well, if I offer uh, your first pair of glasses for $99, um, people are going to think we're cheap and it's going to cheapen our brand. Or if I offer the first dog training lesson for 50 cents, they're going to think I'm cheap or I'm cheapening my brand. Or if I offer my first haircut for a dollar, but you have to because you have to keep the people in because if it doesn't matter how good you are. If people don't know about you, it doesn't matter. Or if they can't try what you're doing, it doesn't matter. So if you have the best barber in the world, and but they don't know and they've never experienced it, then it doesn't matter. So you have to be able to get people in with that no-brainer. I, I, again, you mentioned somebody's fighting that idea, so I'm trying to give people ideas. If you have a retail store, buy one, get one free. I just talked to a guy this morning. He has $250,000 of unsold inventory. So the move is, okay, if you have $250,000 of unsold, in, so unsold inventory that you can't sell, it's been sitting in your life for three years or five years, tell the customer, hey, if you buy this, you get this thing for free. And you start giving people your free inventory as a way to push the stuff you're trying to sell. 
or if you buy this, you get this half off, or you just got to have a no brainer. Buy one, get one free. That's a, that's a great deal. Your first um, interaction, your first dental exam, a dollar. Your first appointment is a dollar. Your first haircut is a dollar. We do 50 cents because that's half of a dollar. But I encourage everybody out there, you got to have that mindset of what gets scheduled gets done, too. you got to have a no-brainer. And third idea I want to hammer, and then I'm done harassing you on today's show. you got to say no to grow. Mm. And there's things in my schedule and in your schedule that we have to say no to to grow. Because you have so many people beating down the door now at MakeYourDogEpic.com wanting you to train their dog that if somebody has like a wolf, a bona fide, not, not like figuratively, but in a bona fide rawr, 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 wolf, like a, rawr, rawr, like a real, like a crazy, like a wolf that's, you know, a bloodthirsty animal that's not meant to be domesticated, a wolf. Or if somebody calls and says, I've got an orangutan. <laughs> I have an orangutan and I need to train that. You have to say no to that to grow. You have to say no to grow. And you do that all the time. So make your dog epic.com. That's why the initial the initial phone consultation is free, as well as that first assessment with the dog that's free. So you actually go to ongoing training. That's one thing you do. You go to ongoing training all the time. And the reason why you do that is because you want to have the best trainers in the world, best dog trainers in the world, teach you. You also read books about dog training. You watch YouTube videos about dog training. You're always sharpening the sword. You're always improving the craft. If you, you, my friend, you are like those people that, that carve like a, a duck out of wood, and you're never quite done. You're always, you know, you're like the painter. You're like the Bob Ross of dog training. You're always wanting to add one more <laughs> fluffy cloud, puffy cloud. Wiggle you it. You know what I'm saying, though? You're, you, yep. you are dialed in. You love it. And you recently went to a training. Maybe you could tell us where you went. Maybe you can't. But you went to a training. Uh, and, again, if you want to tell us where you went, that's great. If not, it's okay. But you went to a training somewhere where the trainer had actually want, uh, once trained for SeaWorld. He had once trained exotic animals, including an orangutan. Uh, and now he's a legendary dog trainer for big-time Hollywood productions and that kind of thing. But he was telling you about uh, the dangers of training an orangutan. And just to clear up, for anybody out there that has a, 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 a strong desire to train dogs and orangutans, I want to kill that idea because <laughs> I'm trying to teach this final principle in a memorable way. you got to say no to Grove. JT, what can you tell us about the recent training you went to and why you shouldn't train orangutans and dogs? Yeah, so there's a guy that I went and learned from, and he trains uh, animals on set for like TV shows, movie shows. He's done uh, stunt work, and he trained an orangutan, and that um, orangutan, he was training his sister, and I found out through the story he was telling me the orangutans will randomly challenge you uh, for dominance of their cage or whatever is going on. Um, and you walk in, and the orangutan raises its arms, and then it's <laughs> and it's just going crazy at you. And then if you leave the cage, then you can no longer ever train that orangutan again. So I don't know if this is strictly orangutans or all the monkey world. I haven't trained that many. Um, but if you... Uh, don't if you leave the cage, you'll never be able to train that orangutan again because now it views itself as better than you. It views itself as dominant over you. It's the alpha orangutan, and you it will never take um, orders from you again. So you have to um, fight the orangutan. You have to fight an orangutan. So you have to fight the orangutan. Physically fight it. Yes, and so <laughs> this is um, probably we'll get a call from Peter or something, but it's not my story. I didn't do it. It's years ago. Yeah, years long ago, time in the past. But what happened was he actually had to fight this orangutan, and then they trained them to give them a kiss. You know, if you see these people uh, who go travel, uh, they have these orangutans to sit next to him. They pull them in for a kiss, and the orangutan kisses on the cheek, and then they get a picture, and they just do that all day. So they were training it, the orangutan to do that for a movie, and so after they get done fighting, he says, give me a kiss. And the orangutan <laughs> leans in, kisses him on the cheek, and then they were good. For like four months, and then it happened again, and he ne doesn't train monkeys anymore. Every time, so, every time I hear that story, I, I, it's unbelievable to me that it actually happened. That and this again. Oh, it's if crazy. If you have an orangutan, please don't call. Uh, please don't call. But if you have a dog and you have a Tulsa dog, specifically a Tulsa dog, Oklahoma City dog, and an Edmond dog, if you're looking for Edmond, Oklahoma dog training, a Broken Arrow dog training, a Tulsa. Dog training, Jinx dog training. Uh, uh, you're looking for any of these regional areas. Glenpool dog training. 
That's what you do at MakeYourDogEpic.com, MakeYourDogEpic.com. And in conclusion, folks, on part two of today's show, I will share another client success story, a powerful powerful story where we're going to talk about the no-brainer search engine optimization, building checklists and systems. But hopefully these three principles really sink in. Principle number one, what gets scheduled gets done. Principle number two, you got to have a no-brainer. you got to have a no-brainer. You have to have a no-brainer. And principle number three, you have to say no to grow. You just, you got to say no to grow because if you don't say no to grow, you're going to end up training an orangutan, fighting for your life and not making money. And, and, and again, if you get off the orangutan thing, you, you end up in a meeting that's stupid. You end up in a chamber of commerce event that doesn't make any sense. You end up going on a trip you don't want to go to. You end up in an endless Zoom call and a series of conference calls that don't make any sense. And that's not where you want to be. If you want to thrive, you want to move beyond surviving, that's how you do it. My name is Clay Clark. That's J.T. Lawson. J.T. Lawson is also the uh, author of a book a book about how um, he was mentored from a, by a millionaire and, and basically the, the path and the process of going from uh, uh, violently or aggressively or highly motivatedly with a lot of energy going in a circle and then learning how to gain traction. And that book is called What I Learned from My Millionaire Mentor. And you can pick up a copy of that book today at jtlawson.com. Again, if you're out there today and you're taking massive action, but now you're looking to gain traction, go to jtlawson.com, jtlawson.com, and pick up a copy of the new book, What I Learned from My Millionaire Mentor, and how this knowledge can launch anyone on a path to making millions. And without any further ado, uh, JT, a lot of people listen to these shows kind of on, like, repeat. They listen to them, like, it automatically loops into the next show. Oh, yeah. So for anybody out there listening today, uh, folks, we'll probably uh, talk to you in uh, five minutes. Well, Thrive Nation, on part one of today's show, we did a deep dive into this idea of why you always have to schedule an appointment. You've got to work via appointment. If you don't work via appointment, things won't get done because what gets scheduled gets done. Two. You've got to have a no-brainer. you got to have a no-brainer for your business. If your business does not have a no-brainer, that is something my brain cannot understand. You have to have an offer so hot that people cannot resist it. And third, you've got to say no to grow. And so we're joined here, JT. We're joined here with the founder of WindowNinjas.com, longtime client, Gabe Salinas. Welcome on to the Thrive Time Show. How are you, sir? I'm well, Clay. Thanks for asking. I hope you're good, too. I'm doing great, brother. Now, I'm going to tap into your wisdom here about this idea of the no-brainer. WindowNinjas.com. Can you tell us what is your no-brainer at WindowNinjas.com? And I'll pull up your website so we can look at it. Well, our no-brainer is schedule two or more services and receive 10% off your total invoice. Okay, so this is your no-brainer right here. This is the website. You've also got highest rated and most reviewed cleaning experts here. Uh, when when you, have, you have a call center, JT, you have a call center with your business. Yep. Phone rings. You have a call center with your business, Gabe. When the phone rings, uh, Gabe, what are the most commonly asked questions that, that people have when they call? Uh, people are concerned about uh, how far out we're booked. So they want to know how fast we can get to their, their particular project. Um, second question would be price. That is always a um, uh, concern of somebody's. And then the third most asked question is, uh, what exactly is entailed in the service itself? And that's why you have a script. And for anybody out there, JT, your team has a script. Gabe, your team has a script. JT, what are the most commonly asked questions that your team gets asked? Um, they want to know if we work with their dog. So we do make you epic, make you dog epic.com. And they want to know if we work with their specific breed of dog. They want to know how soon we can do it. And they want to know price. And that's the big three. They, they, they just want to know it. It's the same, almost every time it's the same question. Yep. So if, if you didn't have a script, what would happen, JT? Uh, people would say outrageous things and just start making things up. And just, JT, you probably heard me 40 minutes ago, just sort of not rip into somebody, but push them pretty intensely yeah. for following the script, but without enthusiasm. Oh, with zero enthusiasm. So I just want to encourage everybody, if you have a script, you still have to mentor and coach and hold your team accountable, which is why I recommend installing ClarityVoice.com for call recording. However, you, Gabe, you already have Clarity Voice installed. You already have a, a call recording system and setup. You already have the scripts. And that's why you're on the verge of franchising. That's why you're franchising. That's why you're doing the franchising. And that's why you've how many locations do you have now? Uh, we're currently operating 11 locations throughout four states. So again, folks, if you do not have call recording in place, heaven help you. If you don't have a no-brainer, heaven help you. Now, once you do have an appointment, I'm going to ask you and JT the same question. Why do you at windowninjas.com work via appointment? And why does your competition insist on not doing it? An example, JT, my wife, we moved into our house a few years back. I'll never forget it. We're moving into the house. 
and the, the 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 cable people, the utility people, they tell my wife, we should be there around Tuesday. Mm. We'll try to be there around Wednesday. So my wife, you know, we have kids, they're in activities, ballet, dance, cheerleading, drum lessons. And so my wife is living in a suspended sort of a terror of like, will they call now? I don't know. I, you got to answer any phone, that any call that comes in because it could be them. And so she would say stuff like, well, I, I can't commit to going there because the cable people might call. I got my, I, I can't commit to being there. There's like a two weeks of our life where she could not do anything because the cable, water, electricity people might come by. So I want to ask you this scenario here. Why do, Gabe, why do people who are not window ninjas.com. Why do, why does all of your competitors, almost all of your competition, why do they insist on not setting appointments and saying Jack Asri, like, well, we'll try to come by around Tuesday. Well, Clay, I talk about that a lot. I mean, that's the difference between a wow experience and an average and ordinary experience. There's so many people out there that run businesses that should not be running businesses because they're just simply average and ordinary. They don't value others time. They don't value their time, and therefore they can't schedule an appointment at a specific time because they are wandering around in this is this wandering doom loop of just idiocracy because they just don't value somebody else's time. JT, why do you think it is? Why does almost every dog trainer, and again, I've worked with multiple dog, dog training companies to help them scale, and every time that I sit down and work with a dog trainer or a window cleaner or a carpet cleaner, any type of service business or product business or business to business or any a lawyer, accountant, they all insist by default on not setting appointments. I know attorneys that'll tell people, yeah, I'll try to call you around around noon. You, I'm sure you've never seen an attorney that's told you, I'll try to call you tomorrow around noon. I've never, ever, ever had that. Seriously, no. you've ex I mean, we've, no, I've I, I have experienced that a lot, actually, with attorneys. Yes. Um, And then also with dog trainers. I mean, I think just not even specifically dog trainers, but just humans don't understand how calendars work for the most part. Most humans cannot stick to a calendar. And then they use in the out of saying, well, I didn't, they want to give themselves an out in case they feel bad or they feel sick or they oh. feel whatever. And then they can take that nap or they can go hang out with that friend. And then they can say, oh, well, I said I'd be there by this time. I tried. At some point. Yeah. I have so to I like, that's a big reason. I have to beat that out of my children, figuratively speaking, because they all go to school and at school, that's just Jack Assery is taught to them. And I'm going, stop telling me you're going to try to come here by 7 a.m. Stop trying to say you'll try to be here by noon. Just set an appointment. Now, just as an example, folks, you can look at my schedule and you can say, I, I, I don't like your schedule. You can say that I work too much. I'm too scheduled. I'm too rigorous. Whatever that is you're saying. Um, but this is my schedule today. You know, this is my schedule and this is what I'm going to do. You know why I'm going to do it? Because it's in my schedule. Yep. You know, and I'm not going to mention who today, but we had somebody today I was doing an interview with. And the concept of the interview is I told the person, well, I would like to interview you for for a 30 minute interview, maximum 30 minutes. An hour and eight minutes into the 30 minute interview, guy's still rolling. And I, I love the guy, but that's the kind of jackassery that makes poverty happen. Well, you've the, got to block out time. There's also the jackassery of ask holes. So people who ask for advice. So I wrote a book, What I Learned from My Miriam Mentor, and I they asked me to be on the show and I did an interview and I'm telling them the steps that have helped me learn and grow and that I know that what all successful people do. And they're like arguing with me on why your to-do list should be on an app and why. And I write mine down and they're saying it should be on an app or they're saying my website sucks, or they're trying to uh, deflect what I'm saying back onto me, and they just can't take that accountability. It's called Not Coachability. And again, uh, that website for your new book, JT, is jtlawson.com. What I learned from my millionaire mentor, that's jtlawson.com. For everybody out there who wants to check that out. So I want to ask you, so you got you got to have a no-brainer. Got it. Yep. Okay, great. We got to work via appointment. Got it. Okay. Third, you got to say no to grow. There's people that I'm sure that call you, Gabe, all the time at windowninjas.com. And they say things like, you know, I own a boat and I wanted to see if you guys could come out into the ocean and clean the, the whole of my boat. And you're like, I, I love I love that. I love you're in Myrtle Beach. We are, too. I love that. But we do windows, gutters, pressure washing, dryer vent, chimney sweeping. They go, you know, I have a dog and I wanted to see if you could clean my dog while you're at it, clean my dog and my house and my car. I'm sure you've never been asked that before, Gabe. They say, well, while, while you're here, could you go ahead and clean my car and my dog? Is there any way you guys... Could pull some weeds out front while you're here. I mean, since you're here, could you could you go ahead and, and uh, replace my windows? I'm sure you've never had that kind of question before, Gabe. Gabe, why do you have to say no to grow? 
oh, you got, you got to stick to what you know. Otherwise, you're not going to grow. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? So, yeah, we get people all the time that ask us if we can, um, yeah, hey, do you spray weeds? Uh, can you um, do, can you repl- can you replace that window for me? We do get that a lot. Um, you know, it, 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 there's there's all kinds of. Can you fix my HVAC system? My air ain't blowing, so I need. To, I, can you fix it for me? Wow. And you've got to be able to say no and focus on the things that you know if you de- if you want to grow. And so our core business is window cleaning, pressure washing, and gutter cleaning, and we do that well. Did we don't install, install gutters, right? You install and so. The gutters. No, we don't install them. Somebody else has to install the gutter. Somebody has to make the gutter. They have to put that gutter up on the house. Hmm. And lo and behold, after a few months, the trees are going to have their leaves drop and all that debris is going to get inside those gutters that look nice and shiny and were all freshly put up six months ago. But the gutter guy who actually installed them isn't coming out to clean the gutters. But we are. And so he knows what his wheelhouse is, and we know what our wheelhouse is. And you know what? He's successful, and I'm successful because we stay in our lane. I didn't mean to cut you off and kind of cut out here for a minute. I want to ask you and JT the same question. Um, it's easier said than done to do that. And, and I remember just yesterday, JT, there was a guy I was trying to explain to him, and I've told this guy multiple times, you know, I do free 13 point assessments. When people go to thrivetimeshow.com, I do free 13 point assessments. It's great, but I only work with 160 clients. And one of the things I don't do is I don't help people raise money. I'm not a money raiser guy. And the guy says, yep. Clay, I want to hire you, but I want to see if you could, I could hire you to help me raise money. Then I'll be able to hire you. And I'm going, no. And you heard me tell the guy, no, probably four times in a row. Oh, yeah. And he's like, well, why am I not yep. a good fit? I'm like, you're not a good fit because I don't do things like what you're trying to do. I don't help people raise millions of dollars before they get a profitable business and then before they call me. That's not what I do. I work with real business owners that have a real business that they need to help grow. I work with people like Gabe Salinas of Window Ninjas. When Gabe reached out to me, he already had a business. He just needed help scaling it. I don't work with people that don't have customers that are looking for the idea of raising millions of dollars to sell an unproven oddity to the world, an unproven oddity. What am I saying? This guy was trying to sell an unproven oddity to the world. And so I say no to grow. I know, JT, you do the same thing at MakeYourDogEpic.com. There's certain, like, you don't train a wolf. Why don't you train a wolf? Uh, We don't train a wolf because they're not domesticated enough. I mean, I have trained part wolves, but you have to... um, like I'm not training somebody's dog to walk on both feet. I'm not training to walk on two feet. I'm not training a dog to sit pretty. We're not doing the trick stuff uh, because that's not in our wheelhouse and that stuff takes longer. So we're not doing that stuff. Also, in, as in business and life, you have to say no to grow. So uh, I've seen you do it, Clay. I mean, people have started asking me now that I've started becoming more successful. They ask you to hang out or they ask you to go do the lunch. They want to do the lunch. I want to do the lunch. Or they want to do the dinner or you have an employee who uh, right before you're about to go on an interview is saying, hey, can we talk? And the answer is no, because I have this, but here's this time or whatever, or you just say no. Folks, what gets scheduled gets done. So I'm encouraging everybody here to schedule an appointment with yourself to do this today if this is of interest to you. WindowNinjas.com is a brand uh, that is growing. Uh, and in the final 60 seconds, Gabe, I'd like for you to share with us about the franchise opportunity because you're now allowing people that want to own their own business an opportunity to buy a Window Ninjas franchise. So in the final 60 seconds, what does it cost and who's a good fit for a WindowNinjas.com franchise? Uh, well, yeah, we are definitely growing, Clay. Like I said, we got 11 locations throughout four states, and we're in one of the fastest growing industries in the country right now. Uh, it's a billion-dollar industry, and it's completely growing, just leaps and bounds. A good fit for somebody who would be interested in a Window Ninjas franchise is somebody who wants some time freedom and financial freedom, of course. Um, but they want a proven system, and they want to generate anywhere from 20 to 30% profit. And like I said, they want to live the life that they dream about living and they want to do it through a business platform and our business platform is a proven model it works it's successful we have a call center here in our in our office in our corporate office in wilmington north carolina so that it makes it easier on the franchisees because they don't have to have a brick and mortar building and they don't have to answer all of those crazy calls when customers want us to install gutters as opposed to cleaning gutters so we facilitate their needs in a multitude of ways which creates success for them as well as us over here at window ninjas so anybody that's interested in owning a window ninjas should definitely reach out to us hop on our website take a look around give me a call 833 ninjas one and we'd be happy to facilitate their needs Gabe Salinas, thank you for your time today, sir. We really do appreciate it. Again, folks, if you're looking to buy a franchise, go to windowninjas.com. And to learn more about J.T. Lawson and his new book, you can go to jtlawson.com, jtlawson.com. Thanks again, sir. We'll talk to you next week. 
Do you need to have your dog professionally trained? Do you need your dog to stop barking at the neighbors? Do you want your dog to stop going potty in the house? Do you want to have an epic and well-trained dog at an affordable price? What makes the Make Your Dog Epic dog training experience unique? At Make Your Dog Epic, your first dog training lesson is just 50 cents, which is less than a dollar. Make Your Dog Epic is home to the highest rated, most reviewed dog training company in the area. At Make Your Dog Epic, we will beat any competitor's price for similar services. At Make Your Dog Epic, we offer a money back guarantee. So if the training doesn't work, we never blame you or the dog, it's always our fault. At Make Your Dog Epic, we offer the fastest turnaround time in the industry. That way you can start enjoying time with your epic dog as soon as possible. At Make Your Dog Epic, when you schedule that first lesson with us, we automatically enter you in for a chance to win a dream vacation to Hawaii. Whoa! Which is a lot like Oklahoma, except the weather's different, there's beaches, palm trees, but if you'd rather go to Oklahoma, we can do that as well. How does the Make Your Dog Epic training experience work? When you fill out that form on MakeYourDogEpic.com, we are going to call you and schedule that first lesson for just 50 cents, which is less than a dollar. We are going to meet you for that first lesson. That way we can tell you what it's going to take to get your dog to your goals. Because every dog's different and everyone's goals are different. We'll either do one-on-one -on -one lessons where it's half dog training, half human training. I'll let you guess which one's harder. Or we're going to do boarding school where you send your dog with us and we take care of all the homework for you. No matter what you do, we're going to make sure everything transfers to you. Because it's pretty pointless if we get your dog to listen to us, but no one else in your family. Disclaimer, currently we do not offer a service that will get your in-laws to listen to you. You will receive unlimited ongoing group class for the remainder of your dog's epic life. That's because we want to be there for you and your dog forever. We never want you to have to use another trainer after training with us. Our goal is to teach obedience, but never at the expense of the dog's personality, because if we get your dog to listen, but we have to crush its spirit in the process, what's the point? Our motto is it's the same dog, but now it's all ears. You'll now have a well-behaved dog that you can walk a jog with without it channeling its inner sled dog and pulling you down the street. You will have a dog that won't bark at the neighbors or potty in the house. You will be entered in for a contest to win a dream trip to Hawaii that we will be giving away every January. Pow wow whoa, yippee yo, yippee yay. Take that first step and schedule that first 50 cent lesson at MakeYourDogEpic.com. MakeYourDogEpic.com. I know you're going to dig this. Let's go now. Let's go now. Here we go now.